weird. Saw, uh, saw like a bit of a sparkle quite late after it died. Pretty good now that, um, you know, Arrow Man is on my team. Undead Bone Shard. Okay, cool. I think that was the the thing that the bonfire said I could uh, burn bone shards. Um. Okay. So I can't get onto the other side. I thought like from back there it kind of looked like I'd be able to get up that side, but I guess that's just round to the church anyway. So, no problemo. Ah. I guess if I was a gambling man, I could try, you know, flopping off the side here. I just don't know if it'd be worth it. Doesn't seem to be too much down there. So I guess... Oh. No. No. I thought like maybe we'd be able to scamper around in here a bit. And see what's the what. But uh, no, that, that room's kind of wrecked now. So don't tell me that like that crazy ice guy is like the only way to go now. Uh oh. I got a bad feeling. Oh, what? Immolation? You see that? She self-immolated. That was crazy. I'm glad the other dog was cool about that. He's a good boy. He can live. Ran out of stamina at just the wrong time. Yeah, I appear to have uh, come to the exact same place. Oh dear. Friend fell off. Oh, yikes. How, how on earth am I going to win versus this guy? 
Ah. Oh, okay. Very interesting. Yeah. I mean, I guess while it works, try and... I don't know, answer on the phone, I suppose. At least that part works, even if the other part doesn't. Yeah, partially working stuff is just bizarre. <laughs> and there's no rhyme or reason to why it works on one thing and then doesn't. one of my uh, shops sold even heavier armor. That'd be kind of cool for maybe trying to live through this, this frost guy. It's mad though that I don't really get enough chance to use spells in between his attacks. Like what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> This is the down one. Um, might as well just use this out of combat. Get it over with. And the same as usual. Let's get like the shield spell up. And go ham.
Oh, yay! Irithyll Straight Sword. That sounds fun. And an ember. What we got? Irithyll. Uh, a straight sword bestowed upon the outrider knights of the Boreal Valley. So I think Boreal was the same as, you know, the other crawling on the floor knight. Um, this weapon is enshrouded in frost and causes frostbite. Oh, so players can get frost spells and frost stuff. Cool. Every outrider knight one day devolves into a beast, constantly hounded by Pontiff Sullivan's black eyes. Skill stance. While in the stance, use normal attacks to break a foe's guard from below and a strong attack to slash upwards in a forward lunge. See, this one has a stance as well, but that's different. So you can't just say skill stance and then know exactly what it does. You've got to read the whole thing. It's cool though. What am I missing? I'm missing strength and dexterity to wield that. Oh dear. Maybe later then. Finally, we get to see what's behind the mega door. Wow. So just like... Just like the Titanite demon that you kill in a room similar to this, in Dark Souls 1 after the blacksmith, it leads down through a similar kind of corridor but uh, no window out, but into somewhere with a tree. Like immediately, I mean, it's not like a forest forest, but it's, it's something. The Road of Sacrifices. It's very Dark Souls 1 though, the whole feeling I got from that. Awesome. Let's go spend my, uh, my level up. That was really difficult against that guy, but that was that was good. Welcome home, speak that. Very well. Then touch the dark Hignari. One more int, please. Thank you. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. Totally. Oh, oh, so it's a different locale. Cool. This is like one of the few places where I've walk transitioned to a new area. That's nice. What I find weird though is that we looked down on more of the like the undead settlement and saw that big boss guy. Strolling around on fire, uh, looking like a smelter demon. But I seem to have left and gone like a different way. I've come out of the uh, the left side of that tower instead of going out the. No wait, I've come out the, you know, the east side rather than the west side. Hello, who's that in the distance? Some kind of uh, wraith with a scythe. Some kind of wraith with a with a staff. Oh dear. We're heading towards that big church building. I like it. We got like another friend right here. Let's um, see how we fare in melee first. Uh, you okay? Yeah, you're okay. I might not be okay, but he's okay. That was freaking awesome. I liked how the feathers flew everywhere when we fought him. I liked that he grew the feathers, like, literally in front of me. It's so cool how a lot of the enemies in this game, like, have, like, a morph. They've got, like, a 
this isn't even my final form moment, and then they they pop up with something different from what you were looking at before you, you ran up to fight them. Ah, what's the point of this little bit here? But it does it look down on where I was? Odd. Still, the fight was glorious. There's like a something embedded in the wall there. It's a little bit like a curvy sword. Shriving stone. Oh, it said shriveling at first, but no, it's a shriving stone. Oh, it's not a. It's not a this item. Oh. Mortician's Ashes, Shrine Handmaiden will prepare new items. Umbral Ash of a resident of the Undead Settlement who made a living bearing corpses. With this, the Shrine Maiden will prepare new items. I like that. We should totally visit her at some point. Driving Stone. Uh, a gem of infused Titanite, also known as Stark Stone. Reverses weapon infusion. Has the benefit of undoing the effects of infusion without reducing the reinforcement. Horseman level. Ah, so I guess it's there for if you regret and change your mind. Probably shouldn't have had the binoculars out in combat, but, you know. Soul of an unknown traveler. So they, they, they got somebody's um, transportation car. It looks like a prisoner wagon, to be honest with you. Somebody free the prisoners. So that cliff goes down quite a way. Could be that there's some level down there. Interesting. Uh, let's see if we can't jump him, though. Yikes. Oh, that's hard when you don't have 100% physical block on your shield. Oh, wow, item in the distance. Whoa, that's a tree line down there. Now I'm getting some, like, dark root basin vibes. Dude. I really hope that's some level down there. Uh, two... Okay, we're going we're going heavy so and arrow. I can't I can't just like fight two of them in combat. Possibly three if that guy joins in. Oh no, I lost lock on because he staggered back. Oh dear. Was that? Oh god, he's throwing Vimto at me. Whoa.
That guy landed just right for a backstab. It wasn't even my intention. Uh, but yeah, in Ragnarok Online, there's a big purple spell like that called uh, Cloud Kill that does a, like a lot of poison damage. So that's the kind of vibe I got out of that thing. So there's, a, there's a path down this way. There's also the path that we've always been able to see. Let's check out this way first, see if it even, you know, meets up. More of that glorious tree line. Love it. Okay, so this doesn't link up. So maybe we'll end up around there when we follow the other way. Seems legit. Oh wow, this is a, a permanent decision to be down there. Okay, well let's let's make that decision then. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh wow, front stab. Damn. That was cruel. I thought we'd be buddies because we're like, you know, living regular people. But, uh, that didn't that didn't turn out too well for me though. I heard a guy behind me. It is Harpy Central out here. This area is mad. Yeah, it's just going ham. Now that we know that, um, <laughs> yeah, they're just like going berserk at the air. It's damn hilarious. Right now that we know that, like a uh, barbarian down here isn't isn't on on the team. Let's just do it. Let's just do it this way. 
Don't throw stuff at me. Come on. Who do you think you are? Well, that was easier when we know his villain. A butcher knife. Wow, I love how these invasion star guys drop stuff. Like I was saying that in Dark Souls 2 and then the, it, it became real? In Dark Souls 3, the things that I asked for just happen in the next game. Damn, I want cake in the next game. there would be a cake somewhere. A butcher's knife with an oddly large blade. Wounded by the mad woman, haunting the road of sacrifices. Yeah, the, the Dark Souls gods are open to suggestions. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Squarely landed hits restore HP. Lifesteal. No way. And it's not like the lifesteal in the rest of the game where you have to, like, kill an enemy. The squarely landed hits. Back in the undead settlement... Oh, she used to live up there. The woman acquired a taste for human flesh. Of which she took glee in partaking. Nasty. Skill, sharpen. Sharpening the blade increases the HP restored with each successful hit. Maybe that's what she was trying to cast at a distance. She was, like, trying to do something and I kept on just hitting her with a spell when she tried to do it. Her loss is my gain, though. Brigand axe. Brigand axe. Skill. War cry. Let out a spirited war cry. Temporarily boost attack. Nice. So it's like my um, Pyromancer spell from um, Dark Souls 1 that used to drain my HP but give me like a load of extra attack. That was good. I missed that spell. Uh, axe favored by brigands of a distant land. Surprisingly sturdy battle axe that requires more strength to wield than a standard axe. Yeah, 14. Yikes. I got the right decks, though. Let's not do another axe playthrough just yet, though. That's what we just did. <laughs> uh, the full brigand set as well. It kind of looked a little bit like what she was wearing. So maybe she was a, a brigand as well. Uh, Brigand Twin Daggers. Twin Daggers? Okay. Dagger. Paired. Paired weapons? No way. Maybe we can get Dota 2 Sanj and Yasha. Uh, these paired daggers are the preferred weapons of Brigand of a distant land. I thought the axe was. Oh well. Uh, when two-handed, the wielder holds a blade in each hand, allowing for divergent attacks that include left-handed moves. Skill, quick step. Instantly step behind or around the side of foes. Especially effective when locked onto a target. Yeah, I mean, if you're not locked onto a target, like, how's it going to know where the foe at? Wow. That sounds so much fun. So that's that's one, and then when you you only attack him with the one hand though. Maybe it's because I don't have the stats for it. 